the talk around, you know, this year has been, does the SPAC investor get institutionalized? Does it get relegated, this product to a select few? Um, it is, it can be a very innovative product with unique benefits and there's some durable growth. And if you look at some of the deals, transactions um, that stand out to me, I mean, you've got a publicly traded company spinning out a um, kind of forward thinking business that is getting acquired by a SPAC investor, right? You've got this three-way combination emerging in two different examples where a SPAC is buying two privately held enterprises, combining that into one. So there's two examples of that. And the healthcare space You've got a biotech selling a um, a drug pipeline or a um, a drug product to a healthcare focused SPAC, and those are some really kind of uh, unique ideas that can certainly add some creativity, especially in this market um, where some opportunities don't exist. 